Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details here, and I keep seeing this popular question popping up in some of the detailing groups that I'm a part of. And that question is, can I use an all-in-one to prepare a vehicle for ceramic coating and just use some sort of like wax and grease remover or car pro eraser or something like that to remove the sealant and then do my ceramic coating? I want to look into that question a little bit further, so let's talk about this one. All right, so I have here two of the more popular types of options when it comes to all-in-ones uh, that are out on the market. Right now, I mean, obviously there's HD Speed. There are some that absolutely love this stuff. I'm a fan of it. It is super user-friendly, can be used out in the sun, easy wipe off. I mean, smooth as butter, this stuff is a really great product for what it is. Then we have Flash Pro. This is kind of an all-in-one compound. But the premise behind an all-in-one is that it is going to do some sort of scratch oxidation swirl remover. It's going to clean the paint and it's going to apply a polish all-in-one. That's the premise behind the name. Now, a lot of times the way that these products, now this one not so much because it ha actually has a really high amount of abrasives to it, um, diminishing abrasives, and you're actually going to get a lot of correction with this polish and it does have a sealant within it. HD Speed, um, this probably is like you can see, it is a correction glaze. Anytime you have a glaze or an all-in-one, a majority of them are going to have some sort of filling capabilities to it. Now a filler is essentially something that is going to, basic, obviously within the name, fill into the swirls and scratches. And it's going to kind of in a way mask the swirls and scratches that are on the paint. And you may be thinking, that sounds fantastic, less work, greater results, where can I order some? But the fillers that are in these products, they are not long term. They will wear down over time as you wash the vehicle, especially if you take it through kind of like a high chemical tunnel wash, something like that, that has a higher pH level on the alkalinity level. It's going to kind of strip those fillers down and reveal the scratches and swirls that weren't necessarily removed because there's not a lot of abrasives in a product like this, especially a lot of times people aren't working it very long. Now, if you use a microfiber pad, you work it a little bit longer, you may get some actual correction out of it, but there is a small amount of fillers within these that they're going to eventually remove, uh, you know, remove the filler, and from there you're going to see that you actually did not remove as many swirls and scratches as you originally thought. The other idea behind using an all-in-one with a ceramic coating is it may be all you have. And so what you're thinking is, I'm going to go ahead and use an all-in-one. Let's say you haven't really taken the deep um, commitment into paint correction. Maybe you're a beginner detailer, you have a DA, maybe a GG6 or a Harbor Freight polisher. You have a couple orange pads, white pads. You've just started out in the paint correction, paint enhancement world. This is all you have. A customer comes to you and says, I want to do a ceramic coating. So you're going to grab this bottle and you're going to think, okay, I'm just going to use a product like Car Pro Eraser or even, you know, Dupacolor Wax and Grease Remover, and I'm just going to remove the sealant and then put the coating on top of that. Well, one, you have to realize that when you are putting a freshly applied sealant on the, on the paint, it is not going to be removed properly by a product like this with the Car Pro Eraser or even the Wax and Grease Remover. The only way to properly prep a panel for ceramic coating is to use a polish that has no fillers and no sealant to it. That way you know with the polish you've actually removed any sort of LSP or last step protection that's on the paint, be it a wax, a sealant, or even a ceramic coating. When you do a proper polish, you know you're going to have the abrasives necessary to remove whatever sealant, wax, coating that's on there, you're going to be able to know that whatever correction that is occurring or enhancement, that it is actually true correction. It's not a filler, it's not masking, and especially because those fillers will eventually wear down and wash away, that coating isn't necessarily bonding with the paint, it's bonding with the fillers. So you're going to get better correction when you use a true polish. You're going to have better bonding from the ceramic coating because you don't have fillers in their way. And you're also not relying upon a product that's not meant to remove waxes or sealants. This is meant to remove oil and polish cleaner. It's meant to remove any sort of residue from the lubricating oils that are in these products. Now, 
it's not going to remove a sealant. You could put, and there's been so many videos, you could Google it or YouTube it. There have been so many products tested to see if you can remove a brand new sealant with a product like this, and it is not effective. It's not meant for that. It's meant for removing polishing oils from a true dedicated polish. So that is why I do not recommend that you ever use an all-in-one to do a prep for ceramic coating. You can't trust these products and they have fillers in them that are going to eventually wear down and then your ceramic coating hasn't truly bonded with the paint, it's bonded with the fillers that are in this product. So I hope that kind of summarizes it for you guys um, in an easy way to understand. You know, if you're gonna be going through the amount of work to prep a vehicle for ceramic coating, do yourself a favor, make the small investment in getting a quality polish and you don't want anything that has fillers to it so even Meguiar's ultimate polish that is not a product you want to consider because that has fillers to it you want a true polish you can use Sonax perfect finish angel wax resurrection regenerate redemption you can use um, Menzerna 400 2500 3500 3800 all of those products none of them have fillers none of them have any sort of um, sealant or LSP within them so if you you know are looking for a true dedicated list, you know, feel free to reach out. I may not have, you know, the complete library of polishes. You can even use Meguiar's D302, Meguiar's M210, uh, Meguiar's 205, even though that one dusts a lot, I don't necessarily love it. But there are so many great products out there that are true polishes that are gonna give you better correction and better bonding for your ceramic coating. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you know, you're know you able to walk away with a little bit more information about how to prep your vehicle for ceramic coating. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Make sure to subscribe. We got some great content coming out this week and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks.